TTP is a, a specific form of thrombotic microangiopathy, which was uh, historically uh, systematically fatal because this disease uh, leads to the formation of microthrombi in most organs and without adaptive treatment, patients die of the disease. Historically, we started to treat those patients with a daily plasma exchange until complete remission and with steroids. This regimen allowed to significantly improve the prognosis of the disease uh, since the survival rate uh, translated from almost no survival to uh, more than 85% of survival. So this was a great improvement. But patients needed to be treated for a long time with plasma exchange with uh, a lot of complications from this treatment. So uh, in this context, other treatments were added to these standard treatments. And these treatments uh, include rituximab, a B-cell depleting agent, which is able to limit the duration of daily plasma exchange. So this was a great improvement since the duration of this heavy treatment with plasma exchange was limited and rituximab allowed to prevent one year relapses. So now it is gaining popularity and it is uh, used more and more uh, uh, at the acute phase of the disease and even frontline in all patients. <coughs> the third step of the management of TTP is very recent with the development of a nanobody directed to von Willebrand factor. And this nanobody called the caplacizumab is able to still decrease the duration of treatment with uh, plasma exchange. So the three axes of treatment of TTP, daily plasma exchange and steroids, uh, rituximab and caplacizumab is completely transforming the prognosis of the disease. And now with the, the two randomized control studies uh, run to evaluate caplacizumab, it was reported that actually no death was observed. No refractoriness was observed either. And uh, we could observe that the duration of daily plasma exchange was significantly reduced uh, as compared with the historic uh, regimens.